is up guys it's your boy i am king j and i'm back here with the atlanta falcons connected franchise in madden 22 and as you can see i've been simulating some games here and just trying to move on throughout this season um we like we already know like we've been the decently competitive this season but i think we all deep down know it's pretty much a throwaway season a couple things that i do want to highlight um because of that last gameplay footage y'all saw where the 250 yard game from our boy Calvin Ridley, he ended up getting a breakout scenario to the game after that. And I simmed it and he ended up getting it. So that's nice. He is now an X Factor. His X Factor is grab and smash, but we're actually gonna end up changing that one to, yeah, double me. We want double me, like I think. That's just perfect. It used to be Moss, I believe, but it's called Double Me now. So that's what we got it for him. Um, getting some points here for everybody. They're all developing. So, Oh, and Kyle Pitts revealed his thing is an X Factor as well, which is huge. Uh, we can actually set his abilities and stuff now, which I know pretty much which ones I want. But... Let's go with reach for it, and then see what other ones we can have. Oh, he can't have anything yet until he gets to 85. When he gets to 85, we're giving him route technician. Not route technician, we're giving him a uh, route apprentice. It has to be 85 possession. Yeah. He's only got 79 possession. So we're gonna upgrade his possession and get him to 85 possession. I want him to have a, uh, I want him to have the route ones where I can give him and Calvin Ridley more hot routes. They're obviously our two best receivers, so that's just those couple things. Defensively, I don't think anybody's, yeah, nobody's really going up or anything like that, so that's where we're at with it. Uh, just wanted to give you guys that update, and um, I'm going to set up a draft board, and I will show you guys the draft board I come up with, but I think we're going to sim to the end of the season, so I'll see you guys at the Super Bowl. Eight. We uh so as you can see we had another breakout player scenario and Jabari Zuniga did exactly what we wanted him to do. Got to a star depth. He will be re-signed and kept on this team at all costs. Alrighty guys, we are back now. And we are at the end of the season. It's the Panthers Brown Super Bowl. So some teams get in their first Super Bowl ring. That's awesome to see. Um, this is the end of the season, and I want to go over the stats and stuff of the year, and all the awards, all that good stuff. So, we will start with the awards, and go from there. So, yearly awards. Patrick Mahomes wins the MVP. Coach of the year goes to Kevin Stefanski. Yeah, I doubt we were up there, yeah. I don't think we have any running MVP voting here. Nope. Alright. Um So NFC is what we really care about. So offensive player of the year went to Christian McCaffrey. Defensive player of the year to Khalil Mack. Any Falcons? Any Falcons? No. Any Falcons on this one? Dang, no Falcons on either of those lists. Okay, offensive rookie of the year, Justin Fields, okay. Kyle Pitts comes in fifth. Should have, I thought he would have been higher, but okay. Um, defensive Rookie of the Year. Richie Grant in fourth. Best QB. Josh Rosen in sixth. Best running back. Kareem Hunt. A hey, at seven. For only half a season, that's good. Um, Calvin Ridley, second in receiver. Any other receiver? Nope. Any Falcons on that? I doubt it. Let's see, let's see. Any Falcons? No. And feel free to pause the video and look at what if y'all wanted to see these lists. I'm just trying to see if we had any. Hey, AJ Terrell at seventh. I like that. That's what I want to see from him. Hey, we had the second best kicker. All right, so that's your yearly awards. Now we're gonna go look at our team stats. So Josh Rosen didn't have a bad year. 
I did end up re-upping him. He had four years, sixteen million dollar contract. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't like any quarterback in this draft. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So I think he's gonna end up being our starter. Um, rushing Kareem Hunt had almost a thousand yards, and that's on like I said, half a season. Twelve cutties. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think Josh Rose is going to be our long-term starter just because he's not mobile enough for me, but we'll see. We might even find somebody in free agency or something. I like that. So Calvin Ridley and Kyle Pitts both getting over 1,000 yards. Kyle Pitts only had three touchdowns. It's kind of surprising. Um, it's the three that we got with him, to be honest. Um, 14 touchdowns for Calvin Ridley, nine for Steven Sims, which we gave him a contract extension as well. I'm glad we did. Russell Gage got four. Kareem Hunt had five. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad with the way that came out. Um, blocking, I'm not worried about. Defense, 111 tackles for Deion Jones. I would like to see where was he, uh, like, compared to the rest of the NFL. Just out of curiosity. So, so with 111, about 40 something off from the top, but that's all right. Um, so uh, our tackle leader was Deion Jones, followed by Foisade Oliokun, Richie Grant, the rookie. I like that. So, all right, our sacks leader, Dante Fowler, six and a half. Grady Jarrett, five and a half. Jabari Zuniga, four and a half. So those guys really showed up. Um, interception leader. AJ Terrell with four and Fabian Moreau with four. We did end up re-upping Fabian Moreau, Richie Green with two. Deion Jones with one. All right. Um, yeah, with four of oh, deflections. AJ Terrell, Fabian Moreau. Forced fumbles. So we only had two forced fumbles on the year. Both were recovered. Anybody block the kick? No. Anybody got a safety? No. Go for those touchdowns. All right. Kicking in, like I said, Young Hoku was se second in kicker, best kicker. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, kick return. Cordero Patterson had almost 1,000 yards with that one kick return we had. So, yeah, we didn't have a terrible year. We ended up 7-10. I don't hate it. Don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, I'm going to upgrade the players. And then from there, what we're going to end up doing, guys, is I'm going to see you guys in the next episode where we will turn around and do our free agency and re-signing of players. I don't think that's going to be a very long episode because we really don't have that much money. But we'll see what we can do. We'll, me we'll mess with that for a little bit, and then the episode after that will be the draft, or I'll show you my draft board, and then we'll do the draft. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Till next time, I am King J, and I am signing off. See you later.